Well, as we wrap up day one of the Big 12 Media Days, our Ryan King takes a look at how the Texas Tech football team is viewing their preseason ranking number seven in the Big 12. Hey, Paul, greetings from the Big 12 Media Days once again. And now with Media Days over, the preseason is well underway. And really, the festivities got started last week when the Big 12 released their all-conference preseason team, two Red Raiders on that, of course, and the Big 12 preseason media poll. Now, Texas Tech was picked to finish higher than they finished last season, and they were picked to finish the highest of the four teams with new head coaches. But overall, the media did slate them to finish seventh. And even though the team has to focus on themselves, they're out to prove those people wrong. They're still sleeping on us, but at the end of the day, you got to go back and look at what we've done so far. We, we haven't really proved ourselves, so we deserve to be there. And glad it's not last, but all we can do is work and go throughout the season to change that. I mean, I don't really think too much about preseason polls because as we saw with the basketball team, they really don't mean anything. It's just an opinion. so. We're just going to let people think what they want, and we're going to show up when it's game time. I like it, honestly. You know, it just keeps, keeps you motivated, you know. Always trying to prove somebody wrong, so. And with the round-robin schedule that Tech and every team in the Big 12 gets to play, they're going to have plenty of chances to make their statements when they play all six teams that were picked to finish higher than them in the Big 12 this season. But the first test is on August 31st when the new regime gets their first chance to show what the 2019 Red Raiders will be when Montana State comes to town. For the final time from the Big 12 Media Days, I'm Ryan King.